I would not remain in the high flying uh, business if the first thing I did is get off a plane and start drinking in a bar and with wooden uh, furniture. That will be the end of my career. Another glorious way to end your career is to start a stupid TV show. <laughs>
So big focus are also doing architectural uh, reviews now. Correct. As part of our added, uh, please give us some money feature. So we're going to try some beers. Look at the fast service. Arre, Press yaar. the button. Arre, already here. All right. All right. So the Hefeweizen. Hefeweizen. Check, okay, this check. one I quite like. Oh, this is actually, this is actually a very nice, nice beer. beer. It's so, a smooth beer. Dunkel Weizen. I'm going to drink this like this. Is it me or all these beers? Is this beer too flat? Okay, I'm not a big fan of this one. This is Czech Pilsner. Ooh. Great afternoon drink. It's just stout. There's still diversity in beer of color. But this is still yeah. actually one of the better stouts that I've had. No, no, sorry. IPA. Oh, it smells like mango. This is slightly bitter. <clears throat> mm, bitter, bitter. Mm, must be mm. good for you. Cancel. Oh yes, this, this is going to be good for you. <laughs> it's a kunbi, kunbi beer. Kunbi beer. Good for health. All right. On that note, I think we're done with beers. <laughs> Action. So we continue down our journey of finding the best places in Bangalore to drink. And we've landed up at Big Brewski, which is part of a fairly large group, right? I mean, they... It's been around for some time. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they got quite a few places. This is the biggest one I've seen. I think this is the biggest one in Bangalore. While we introduced Big Brewski, we've not introduced Vernon. I think he's the legend as far as rock music in our country is concerned. He had a band called Millennium. They opened for Deep Purple. They opened for Megadeth. They've obviously done 100 other things that are super cool, but give us at least like 30 seconds about you were oh just God. to get it's horrible. I know, I mean, it's the worst to say. Yeah, that we'll like throw you down to the gauntlet. Like, you got, please talk about yourself. Such a <laughs> small amount of people liking such a small amount of music, and we're one player amongst them. I mean, technically, we were the first, but that's around it. You know, to do actual, to be an actual heavy metal band, and that's really what we got known for. We released an album, got a video on MTV. With metal starting in India, was that part of you when you guys were the, the sort of the forefront of it, right? All the other bands were looking at being commercial bands, so they would say they were rock and they would right. play the Deep Purples, but they also play a lot of popular stuff also because they correct. want to get the money. Right. Fortunately, we were all doing other things. We didn't come from wealthy backgrounds, but we were doing other things to get money. It allowed us to say, fuck it, this is what we're going to do. We like heavy metal, so we want to do. Okay. And it's primarily to earn money, but we need to have a good time also. We were good at live gigs. That's where we got a reputation. Yeah. Musically, we were there, but performance, we had a lot of fun. There were people in India who loved heavy metal. There were no bands to play it live at the college festivals. Okay. So when we started doing covers of Iron Maiden and doing our own stuff, we didn't create it, it was just there. We catered to it. It's difficult to stand still to, you know. This yeah. is not, you know, it's not jazz. Yeah. You know, where you have to imbibe the whole thing and understand it. This is just bang your head and have a good time. Yeah. And that worked at the, at the college level really, really well. I'm going to reach out to these folks to come bring the booze. The booze. On. <laughs> Belgian triple. Triple, oh, this is gonna be strong. Belgians, most of the beer was made by the trapeze monks. And the trapeze monks were up in the hills and nobody was checking in on them, so they kept making boozier and boozier beer. So if normal beer was two and a half, three and a half, four percent, the Belgian trapeze were like seven and a half, nine and a half, so a six pack, which would be a normal Sunday in the US, yeah. would put you off your face. Sadly, Vernon doesn't drink. Well, you can't be perfect all the time. Yeah, that's a really nice beer, by the way. Thank you, Big Brewski. Can I find out what beer I'm having here? I'm sorry. No, no, but the 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 big boys. I'm assuming that's the Belgian triple. Is it either is? that or is that other one? The Cascade Pale Ale. I love it. I'm throwing them under the bus for leaving. While he's finding out, so I want to know. So what have you seen as a change in the whole drinking scene in Bangalore, right? Because I think that has changed a lot with the music as well. Yeah, like, sure, sure. <laughs> Too many changes, too many changes, good and bad. Of course, Bangalore has had that flexible nightlife thing for the past uh, 15, 20 years. Correct. It used to be at some point it was unrestricted, four, five, six in the morning. We had rave parties and all sorts of things going on. Then they put their foot down, said one o'clock or two o'clock. Then there was a movement, I think 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock was for quite for the some time. time yeah. It changed things. And I think when they um, uh, re looked at the timings, then there was uh, an explosion of places to what it is now. Correct. I believe what we've done, because we're so interested in Vernon's story and his background and everything to do with his world, that we forgot to talk about the beer that 
we came here for. So Vernon, who doesn't drink quite often or rarely, is actually going to try the coffee chocolate stout. I think that's what it looks like. Yeah. Multiracial beers. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to be the least racist person here. Yeah, yeah. You're going for diversity. Yeah, yeah. So he's got the He's going to hold the diversity extreme. card. <laughs> We are now a diverse show. That's that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's the way. That's pretty good. That's a if sort of beer. If you were a taste. beer guy, if you were still drinking, what would be your choice? A stout? Anything is, dark, yeah. yeah. The darker the better. Yeah. 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 You yeah. are English. <laughs> that is so English of you. We're doing stout. You, which one was yours? Mine is this one. I don't know. It doesn't have a card, but it's, it was the it closest. It had one. We just appropriated. It. That's actually it's very coffee. It is, no? It yeah, is. It's yeah. got very strong coffee notes. Oh, it, I'm gonna ask. It says coffee, chocolate, stout. I was gonna, I feel coffee and I hint to chocolate. It says. I'm it also right feeling on the that. chocolate is coming now, actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, it's a you slow. Can just read it from here and let me go. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> go back to a fireball. Yeah. That would have been fireball on me right now. Oh, it's okay. You did great product placement. Thank you so much. He literally placed the product. The product. That <laughs> was like product placement 101. Yeah, he's like. <laughs> Still going down smooth. Woo! I feel that going down just warm. Okay, we had Windmills uh, slash Uta, and I believe Windmills is one of the earliest in the game, and they're, they do their, it's a microbrewery, and their cocktail program is really on point. Yes, they've been around, in fact, in a few weeks, in less than three weeks time, they're celebrating their 10th anniversary. It's easier if you introduce yourself because I've already muddled up. I'm going to call you Fred and then I'm going to, I'm just, this is just. Uh, I am a Bangalore boy through and through. I'm Akash. Some of you may know me as Beer Obet. I drink beer for a living, yeah. You look rather fit for that. You should have seen me a few years ago. Oh, so yeah? you looked a little bit like us, is it? Yes. You have been in Bangalore for now? Uh, just a year. Now I'm back for work. My name's Frederick and uh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a diplomat and I'm the Deputy Consul General for Germany here in Bangalore. Solving world problems with uh, in Bangalore. <laughs> One beer at a time. Yes, One, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Can we get some beers? Because it seems like a that's, very empty table, people. That's a good plan. So yeah. basically, yeah. La there's two major sub-varieties of beer which are lagers and eels. Lagers are generally fermented at uh, lower temperatures. The word lager means to store. And generally okay. it's at low time, which is why when you see lagers, they're generally clearer because everything settles down. Okay. But ales are generally ready, ready much quicker. So a Kolsch, they use an ale yeast, but they treat it like a lager. They let it ferment it at low temperature and then they lager it for a while. So think of brewing ah, beer as okay. baking where you have to be specific precise. about temperatures, about quantities and etc. We've just been given input from uh, our dearest manager, Mr. Arpan. So this is an award-winning beer. Every time we've told that to Sid, he suddenly decides he needs to figure out whether that award is worth it or not. <laughs> so, do you guys know how you should taste a beer? Absolutely not. It's like tasting anything else. You look at it, what does it look like? You look at the head. There should always be head on beer because that's what gives you aroma. Smell, always smell. Smell, and then inhale as you take a sip. Like I'm doing a wine then. Yeah, it's like wine taste. It's simple. Except that in wine, you tend to spit it out, this you don't. The little prickly stuff that you feel on your palate, that's from the carbonation. If that is lacking, it will feel, I like to use the word flimsy. Beer is always made from four basic components. Water, barley, hops, and yeast. That's it. So you All of these are made with exactly those same four things, just in different ratios. No, no, you can add other stuff, yeah. but Traditionally, your old styles are made using those four ingredients. I hate stout to the yeah. bottom of my being. Yeah. But having said that, this is a good it's one. Not, surprisingly, this is not bitter at all though. As a German, you know, I like the kind of like clean cut purity yep. law, Pilsner, Lager, Kolsch, what we just talked about. And the reason is, and I mean, sorry for saying that, but I like to consume large quantities of beer, right? Yeah. So like one or two liters, like I'll, I'll do that. And I can't have like one liter of like, 
13% alcohol, like triple hopped, like some cherry added in, like I'll have a cocktail <laughs> if I want that. Yeah. And so yeah. this is why, and I think this is where the misunderstanding comes in because many like Americans would approach me like, oh, your beer is boring. I'm like, you have a great drink, but just yeah. like, it's not beer for us, right? It's, we have like a narrower definition of what we would say is beer. Absolutely, that, like, that's, that's the beauty of craft beer is you can do what you want with it. Like, I myself also like a good, clean, crisp lager. But so in your guys' experience, where does Bangalore brew culture fall into? Say, if we got the sort of German extreme, we got the American like craft beer culture, like where, I think what it, do you think? It sits in the sweet spot in the middle. Nice. Almost every brew pub, not everyone, almost every one of them will do an IPA, which is reasonably hop forward. But you will also have uh, Belgian white beers, yeah. German Hefeweizens, yeah, yeah. lagers, amber ales, everything in between. So it's this, yeah. I think it's the sweet spot that's my view of it. I could be wrong. All right, and in closing for the beer section, because I'm getting grilled by production on the other side, is favorite uh, beer uh, breweries in uh, Bangalore? Your top three. Windmills for sure, where we are. I like the way that we put that, snuck that in then, uh, uh, so politely. The thing is, it's, it's difficult to zero in on a few of them because, no, I like to spend my money at places that are consistent. So for me, the number one would be District 6, just because I've had the best, or the German Pilsner that is closest to what I, I would get in a corner bar in Berlin, right? So that, just a perfect impression. Uh, I like Toy just because I like the vibe of it, so like festive and nice. And uh, third one would be, but just because it's across the street from my office, it's called Bangalore Brew Works and has like a nice view of the city and I just like sitting there like. Toy is one of the oldest ones. It's not the oldest, it's one of the oldest ones. Yeah. Toy is a vibe also, it's not just. Mix of both, yeah. It was absolutely dry till we decided to fly to Bangalore. The minute we landed in Bangalore, from the drinking guide to Bangalore, it's become the sinking guide to Bangalore. <laughs> There's been nothing but water everywhere. We are back and this time uh, we have a much prettier version than Narayan. Oh, call out to Narayan right there. You're mm. going to get me fired. <laughs> <laughs> this time there's a better story to actually have you here. We're doing five or six or seven. Well, let's see how many we actually no, make we're... it to. We're doing breweries. No. <laughs> Why? We never made it to five or six. I think we just have a few bebas because it's raining. So on that note, Gitanjali, why don't you give us a little bit, five seconds of you, what you're doing at Geist? So I am Geist Chief Brand Officer. I have been with the company now five years. I had recently quit an agency job and was looking to, you know, do some interesting work with people and basically look at what was happening before I committed to an organization again. My first visit to the brewery was when the tanks had just come in that same day. Oh, okay. So there was no beer to be drunk, oh, wow. unfortunately. Okay. You've met Nara and you know what an like really, really passionate guy he is. You can imagine how convincing he was because I was like, I have to work with these people. And then, you know, what was interesting for me is that Geist was going to be setting up uh, the yeast lab, which is the one of its only kind for a brewery of this size in this country. So there were obviously very early signs showing that this was going to be special. And I had one opportunity to kind of make my case. And so I literally went back home, wrote out my own job profile, wrote out my own responsibilities. And my like road sent map. That. Yeah. How I'm like, I'll be this the CEO is what of I can do. Very soon. <laughs> Narayan shall be working for no. me very soon. <laughs> Don't reveal my grand plan, but yeah. We went through the entire beer tasting last time. Mm -hmm. I'm going to clean my palate too. Lager. Slightly bitter. I think you guys have now gone into the can game and as far as I can tell, you are all over Bangalore. So, so we call them crawlers by the way. Crawlers? Yeah. So crawler is an industry standard term that's used around the world. Okay. It's basically a combination of two words which is can and growler. growler. Yeah. The idea with this is that it's the same fresh beer that you get in bars and restaurants across the city. When we launched last year, we were obviously in the middle of a pandemic. We had very sh a little time to uh, 
think about design and kind of get the product out, right? Uh, like a really lengthy label approval process when it comes to alcohol. Which is your favorite beer amongst these four? Design-wise, I like the Uncle Dunkel. This one? I think it really, yeah. It is super cool. And you're right now in Bangalore, but in other cities in Bangalore right now or strictly in Bangalore? The Crowlers are right now available only in Bangalore. And I think uh, it's interesting why, I mean, Obviously, people want us to be available in different cities and we want to be there too. But, you know, I think it's important to understand that the mechanism to kind of transport these and store these is a very key part of our business. How that works is that right from the time these are packaged in our factory to the time that they reach the retailer, they are kept in ideal temperature conditions. Does it come at home and then I can refrigerate them or it has to be cold all the time? So when you pick them up from the store, uh, we recommend you put it in your fridge as soon as possible. So I can't do more than 24 at a time? You <laughs> could. Or you yeah. just get a bigger fridge and if it's a true bachelor house, it's all that yeah. and nothing else. There's nothing yeah. else in your fridge, don't <laughs> lie. Yeah. I am going to start with the dunkel. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Cheers, yeah. cheers, cheers. 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 And now actually back to the business of drinking. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. So you guys are expanding, I hear. Yeah, fingers crossed. Uh, but we are in fact in the process of uh, constructing our new restaurant. Restaurant? Yes. Oh, nice. So it's going to be... Is it be... based on the same food you guys are doing here? Yeah, yeah. So all of Guy's locations um, will have the same menus, the same beers available. Okay. Um, and so this is... The one we're sitting at was the first. And then last year we opened our tap room in Orion Mall in Rajaji Nagar. Yeah. And um, the third one is going to be in the Bharatiya Mall of Bengaluru. So, so yeah, yeah, are we going beyond beers anywhere? So here we don't do anything but beer. But in uh, the tap room, we do have a cocktail menu available. Oh, really? Yes, yeah. I know we like the beer, but we are generally more boozy guys. And then we move to hard. <laughs> That's such a desi thing to say. Yeah, right? it's true. It's not a fucking soft hard, drink. Hard drink, you know. Go, hard drink. Chahiye. Funny things uh, where people are like, uh, okay, yeah. they're like, uh, kick kodata. Which kick kodata. Oh, I do. I get a kick. It, yeah. Will I get a kick after this? Kick kodata? Yeah. <laughs> Why does it sound like a character from Kill Bill? <laughs> kick kodata sword. Hi, Dutar Hanzo. <laughs> Oh, this is the? James Blonde. You're like almost a dad joke, but you, just better. You, you can better. guess where that one came yeah, from, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah let me... Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Thank you me. for having us <laughs> back here again. Of Thank course. you. And I Thank think so uh, I think we are waiting uh, for guys to, to get wider. Yes. Yeah, we need you in Bombay, man. So we need all of your support. And yeah, hopefully it's upwards from here at this point. Literally upwards. Yeah. Make it to Pune, Bombay, <laughs> Delhi, yeah. Calcutta. Yeah. Cheers, 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 cheers. Thank you. Cheers, cheers. We are learning beers today. I want the one closest to Budweiser. Oh, because it's AB InBev, is it? Yeah, yeah. So 3M Capital uh, invested in AB InBev and then since then they've been expanding all over the world. And I think Seven Rizz is something they either invested into or they created as a craft beer. Oh, sir, Arti will tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, so we're going to do two things here. We're actually here because obviously Seven Rivers is a craft beer company and they, this is a bar featuring their beers. As you can see, the taps and then further on, the stills are for beer. But they're also really well known for their cocktails and specifically because of um, Arti. Mystery. Also, Arti Mystery. We are going to begin with just some beers. Arti. Before we get into what our uh, interests lie, uh, what beer do you think we should try? He has a specific request. I want one closest to Budweiser. Okay. Can we do a flight? Yeah, that is better. Yeah, yeah let's do two taste. flights. Okay. Done. Come, come, Arati, come sit. Acha, so now I think we completely fucked up the backstory of Seven Rivers first. It's nothing. I mean, I, it was a Seven Rivers, basically a commercial brand, what they had, and it's a Dutch company itself. Not yet. Which one is Seven Rivers? Which one is Seven Rivers? India wants to know. Germany is Seven Rivers. Seven Rivers in Germany? Shit, I want to know. This is the only one I can't debate also. Your factual. We'll Google it. This episode is sponsored by Google. We wished. There'll be one more light at least. 
Achha. No, cool. So, okay, so Seven Rivers is a uh, brand that they have and they've brought it here to India. Yes, they made it in India. They came up with the Virya and Matcha with the local brewing and local products doing it. And then that's what they wanted to come up with the brewery. Originally from? Born and brought up in Mumbai. My training was happened in the Obrai. Started with the housekeeping, but my interest was always FNB forward, where mm. I went across and told them that. I would like to work in F&B. But I want to know what was the first day experience when you went behind the bar without knowing anything. <laughs> oh, I Robert was. Robert, did you say? I was just dancing and working. Belgium gave beer, lene. Arey, de na beer. Who bichara wait karna usme kya? Who saath river dhoond raha hai? Who paanch mile the do river dhoond dhoond ki dhoond dhoond ki aaj 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 aaj. Thank you, sir. Dunkel Weizen. Yes. No, this is a different. You have to start from this one. They are all different, bro. Oh, they are all different. Huh? Not bad, yeah. This is a pale ale. Yeah. This is the American. Oh, APA. So I've had so far the Kolsch, the Dunkel Weizen, the New World Pilsner, and the American Pale Ale. They're interesting. I've had all of it. I just come to try the Dunkel Weizen. The Dunkel Weizen. Is I don't know what the difference between a New World Pilsner. This and is a, right. This is the closest to the Budweiser. Me also not a beer person. You're not a beer person. No. Shank is not a beer person. No. I will still enjoy beer once in a while. Ha! Huh. If I'm not, then I would choose an IPA or an APA. You choose an IPA and an APA, and you're okay with the hoppiness of it. Yes, I love you it. You don't mind the the bitter notes it. and no, the no. and you're more on hops or less on like hop forward, hop super forward. bitter, super bitter. No, you know what his father did. He's working for a Japanese company in Japan. Obviously, the Japanese they drink every evening. Mr. Nara, what is the way you guys do this in India? He said we don't have a tradition of drinking. We were ruled by the British, so we say cheers. They don't take no for an answer. It went on and on. Finally, he decided I'm going to give an answer to this. So then the uh, the EXO, the second in command, who's also Indian, came in and they asked him the same thing. So he went to my dad. He's a captain. What do I say to this? He's like, "Che, my name is Free Daru Pilar. Hai. No, pure venture." <laughs> Every night, all the Japanese to my dad and him. Oh, God, the Lord, and oh, be a venture. Now the ship is ready, launching. Indian uh, ambassador to uh, Japan, Indian foreign minister, and a bunch of dignitaries. They break the the crystal bottle on the ship, and in unison, all the dock workers <laughs> to Captain Mevara Sun. Oh, be a venture. My dad's boss, who's Indian, sitting next to him, and he was just like. And then he just turned to my dad. He's like, "Only you, Mevara. Only you. Oh I am proudly continuing that tradition." <laughs>